Hi and welcome to another episode of Cafe Chronicles. I'm Dan. I'm Steve. Today we're going to be looking at prepping and painting the forks, the lower ends of the forks, and some of the peripherals like the swing arm, other bits and pieces, battery cage. So Dan has got some really cool paint. We read online a lot of people talking about appliance paint being this enamel uh, appliance paint being like the best thing since um, sliced bread sliced powder coating and <laughs> <laughs> um, so with Dan's after getting some and you know Dan proved himself to be the Leonardo da Vinci of you know sculpting seat foam so now he's got to do the same with painting frames uh, the guys down at poor boy sandblasting did a great job of prepping those parts for us and now we're going to try and paint them so we're first we're going to try and wash up the the things make sure there's no um, glass bead dust on there and then we're going to use some uh, wax and grease remover and then we'll move on to painting them so i leonardo the uh, the seat frame i'm going to michelangelo uh, the paint job yeah um, I'll master splinter the carb job. <laughs> Who the hell was Donatello? He was the guy with the stick. Yeah, but like is the Renaissance artist. Oh, what did, what did Donatello do? I'm talking Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thanks for tuning in. Let's get stuck in. Mm, that, that tastes really familiar in a cat face. Beer. That's it. What's the what's the appropriate joke? You guys are gonna be shocked, <laughs> or look at this shocking. Actually, look at this shocking wrapping job. You got foamed, foamed plastic. This is a branded shock absorber. When they when they advertise um, the pedigree of the components, as opposed to standing behind their own brand, you know you're in for a treat. <laughs> Where did you get these ones, Dan? China. Good. Um, uh, did you get them from Amazon or? Oh, look at this. No, so this was a very, very long journey to find these. Uh, there's a couple of retailers on Amazon where I believe that they import a large skid of these uh, from China and then sell them individually for a profit. If you want to do that, you'll get it a whole lot faster. This took three months to get here, but I got this from our trusty AliExpress. Yeah. Now I hope that these are going to work because the packaging is quite beaten up. So if anybody's watching, we have an Excel file, you're probably sick of us telling you. Um, if you're new to the channel, we have a, an Excel file and in there um, we have a list of all the components we've either bought or are buying with links to them. I keep making a joke that we don't want to spend money twice and let you guys let us buy this wrong phone. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on guys. Come on man. 
If someone chimes in now that we shouldn't have bought these shocks, <laughs> I'd be very cross. I hope to do now. All right, so this has a stiffer spring than the front shocks on my Toyota. So we're in for a little bit of a treat here. I've read multiple things online that these need to be rebuilt in order to be any sort of reliable, but I think they were under a hundred bucks and you get the little piggy bag reservoir and all that fun stuff. So, and they're the accent color that you want. They and, look awesome. That looks and they're cool. going to match, they're going to match the style of the bike. Nice. So super exciting. Yeah. I'm going to drain them, put proper shock oil in them. Um, We'll see how they ride on these springs for now. And then once the bike's all done and put together and we take it out for a bit, we may actually have to respring these. The good news is just a super quick disassembly of the bottom, pop the spring out, slap a new spring on, reassemble it, you're off to the races. It's just, I think a new spring costs as much as these shocks. And you get your stamped steel. Nice. I like them. I really like them. They're, uh, they're cool. We'll be the guinea pigs. <laughs> If it's a thing that, you know, we can't get any preload in them, they're not doing the job, we'll, we'll let you guys know. All right, also from China. Ooh, bar and mirrors. Bar and mirrors. And they are the right size for the clip-ons, which are also on the way. And they're the 22 mil. And they're decent quality, like. Yeah, and I like them. That's awesome. Before we do any painting, look at this masking job. Wow, who did that? I don't know, some immigrant that we... Uh... <laughs> that immigrant has a name. Oh, look at that, beauty. Fine, it's a little messy up here. Don't judge me in the comments, but it's okay. Good enough for the girls we go out with. I hope my wife doesn't hear that. The little clippies in here for the seals it's funny because they were totally rotten on the uh, on the uh, bike itself on the forks we just got them from Sturgis Cycle in Hamilton they were cheap chances are it wasn't the seals that went bad it was actually the clips the what that went bad 
Seals. Or, 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 oh, oh, God. Oh. Ah. <gasps> Handlebars. Ribs. And they're for they're the two, 22 mil. Yeah, not bars. Grips. Yep. Yeah. And they're, see the one on the right is a little bit bigger ID. Mm -hmm. And seemingly it fits on the Kawasaki throttle. But we will see because I basically looked up the part for it and then and then scoured forums trying to find and so hopefully it works. That is awesome. Yeah. And they're open at the end for the bar and mirrors important. Rather Perfect. than having to cut them. Front and rear. Yeah. Look at these. These have gotten good reviews, so we'll see. They're nice and sleek. They're, they're super sleek. They're more sleek than I thought, actually. It's like creepy garden ornaments here, you know? If they just gently made noise in the wind, that would be beautiful. Maybe I could like play a little tune on them. I like that. Dan just came up with her new motto. We're always like, geez, I feel so bad. We should leave the beer out of this shot because we're like always like well into it. So Dan's like, that should be her motto, half tanked, you know? Thanks for tuning in. Um, we've got stuff hanging up all over the place. We'll show you a few shots. It's all drying. We've done two coats of that, that paint that Dan got. It went on pretty okay. Honestly, like it, it could just be the transformation of no paint to some paint, but just throwing on that first coat looked amazing. Yeah. And then you didn't think it needed a second coat until you put the second coat on and it looked amazing. You know, I'd be curious to throw another coat of paint on there, but you know, my forearm can only take so much. <laughs> I'm not getting into that. It's got nothing to do with painting, Dan. <laughs> what you do outside of Cafe Chronicles is your own business, all right? But thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We're looking forward to seeing how that all kind of turns out. And we've got to spray paint the frame. We got to wash it down, degrease it. We'll spray paint the frame and also the swing arm you'll notice we didn't do either. Once they're done and they've cured, we'll be able to actually start putting the bike back together. Very exciting. On top of that, next week we'll actually be able to start putting the forks back together as well. Dan got some fork oil, we've got our new seals in, we've got our new circlips in there and stuff. Don't know, retaining clips? Clip snap clips, clips. I think they're called. And, and, and Kawasaki or whatever but uh, so we're getting there and um, we've got lots of kind of half done stuff that I was showing you guys in the last video half tanked half tanked <laughs> hashtag half tanked and uh, you know we're, we're trying to get these things out for you so the the lockdowns and and that have been slowing us down but you know not stopping us not stopping us so we're still on schedule you know we're not doing too bad considering the kind of timeline that we gave ourselves so and I'm, we're still on budget. It's tight. It's close. It's close. It's close. We'll have to throw. I'll tell you what. Well, the next episode we'll throw up where we are budget-wise, and we'll do an analysis on that for you guys. But it's close. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon.